Good morning. What I am doing, coming online today is uh, I want to welcome everybody. I know I haven't been very active on the webcam and this channel, but we are changing that. We're going to start doing weekly uh, broadcasts and let people know what's going on with the channel. Uh, year three is a big year for us. Uh, we're rolling out our holiday drive. Uh, the first event will be November 17th. We'll be doing a couple events with the Rocio uh, Foundation, Jesse and the boys. Uh, we're working on a Las Vegas event, I believe, December 8th with Mindy as head spear, or spearheading that. Spe spearheading that, sorry. And then also, uh, we got a couple events rolling out uh, next year. I believe we're working on a 5K. We're, of course, going to do the 91st uh, Beach Day. And then I believe there's one other event we're going to be doing. And uh, there's some big things on the way, which I'm pretty excited about. But I don't want to let too many cats out of the bag. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and give us a like on our web channel, our YouTube channel. We need to get to a thousand followers so we can start doing live feeds again. It's something that YouTube has updated since the last time we've been on. So I'm asking if you guys can share and invite your friends. Um, it's all going to be about positivity, about what Love Wins is doing, uh, how we're helping people, and it's going to be a great, great, great time. I want to thank everybody for all the support over the last couple of years. I want to thank everybody for the uh, the outpouring support the last couple of days. And you know, I know you know we're constantly trying to learn what we're doing. You know, we never started out to be a nonprofit. It was just a group of people who wanted to help a few people during the holidays. And the beautiful thing is that you guys made it what it is. And without each and every one of you guys for your support, there's no way we'd be where we're at today. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it's been a beautiful journey. It's been my honor to be a part of it. It's helped me heal. You know, I realized the other day as we were going through some things that year one was my sanity. It kept me ahead of my demons and the survivor's guilt that I was dealing with that I didn't know about. Year two was about survival and trying to make the most, not knowing if we were going to go into year three. And I'm just going into year three and so is the board uh, with nothing but an open heart, open mind and pure love and trying to make the most out. Whether we last for a million years or we don't make it through tomorrow, I wanna to make sure each and every day that I'm here is gonna be a day of positivity, of growth and willingness to learn and be a part of people's lives and bless people as much as we can because you know the truth of the matter is we've all started somewhere. And wherever you're at in your journey, it doesn't, know, it doesn't matter how dark or deep the hole is, you can, the hole can stop being deeper when we stop digging. And that's something I'm working on myself in my personal life with love wins, my job. Everything is about being able to go forward. And sometimes moving forward means you have to let go of things that you thought would be in your life forever. And that's a new new thing that I'm learning because the truth of the matter is, if you would have told me a year ago that some people would not be in my life, I would have said, you're crazy. And then if you would have told me some people that are more a part of my life, I would be like, hmm. And what I've learned is that when I stop putting expectations on people and start opening myself up what the universe wants, man, my life is beyond measures. Love Wins has grown leaps and bounds. And the funny thing is, it's not like we've taken in more or we've, you know, expanded. If anything, our ship has gotten tighter. The people have gotten more disciplined. And the people that are no longer as active as they were, they're still a part of our journey through their own contributions and it's a beautiful thing when I get to see them and get those hugs and, and 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 the congratulations on both ends and it's just a beautiful journey man if you're not having a good day today I lift you up in prayer and, and hope that whatever breakthrough that you're trying to get to that you get there I hope that you don't ever stop willing to grow I, ho I hope that you never stop willing to be a guiding light to people because no matter how dark and deep your hole is I guarantee you're a guiding light to someone who's coming in behind you so I pray and I pray and I pray that you find the hope in that and I can promise you this, life won't be easy. No one's ever said it's going to be easy, but I guarantee you it's going to be worth it. And for the people that are coming in behind me who, who say, you know, oh, you're the, you know, you're the best. Thank you for all you do. You know, I don't do it for accolations. Love Wins does not do it for news stories. We do it because it's the right thing to do for the right reasons. And I'm so grateful for the people that have, have believed in me, have believed in this movement, have literally put their livelihoods online. To, to be a part of this and and I appreciate your trust I appreciate the ability to believe in in this 
random guy from East LA who happens to take photos who at the darkest moment in his life, uh, something was placed on his heart and it lit a fire. Like it's on, I'm on fire for love wins and I'm on fire to make sure that we change the world one, one random act of kindness at a time. So if you can find it in your heart to become part of the movement, I, I awesomely accept the, your trust because I know it's sacred that you're willing to invest your time, your energy, your, your, your creativity in helping change the world through love wins and a random act of kindness at a time. Uh, we, like I said, I'm so excited for year three. It is just exploded with opportunities for us, people willing to help, uh, help us and do, uh, fundraisers for us and be a part of the, the events we're doing. Like, I'm just amazed at how year three has taken off with a bang. And I'm so grateful and so blessed and so hopeful for our future. No matter what the world thinks they're going to do, Love Wins, Love Wins is going to change it through random acts of kindness. Because you know what? I always say it. 22,000 people was the starting point. That was the catalyst. And if 22,000 people every day practice one random act of kindness a day, eventually that will catch on to every single person doing one random act a day. I mean, if that's the only thing that we ever accomplish, then I'm overpaid. I'm so excited for our year three annual uh, holiday drive. Amanda Johnson is working out the logistics. We will have details here shortly. November 17th is uh, our holiday party slash birthday party uh, toy drive. And then December 8th, I believe, is the Las Vegas one that's being put together by Mindy and the folks out there. Um, it's going to be an awesome, awesome holiday. We're going to help the 58 families that are that are open to our help. We're going to help as many people as we can after that. Uh, once again, thank you for the Rocio Foundation for allowing us to be a part of their journey. Uh, uh, Angie's Wings, uh, Love Like Hannah, Love Like uh, Live Like Chris, Love Like Debbie, uh, Tommy's Angels. Um, I know I'm missing some people, but, you know, these people who uh, have allowed us to be a part of their lives and be a part of their healing journey and definitely be a part of mine. I'm truly overwhelmed and truly humbled, and I truly hope that we're living lives that are worthy of our 58 angels as well as my own personal angels that, you know, that are looking down on us. And, and you know, I hope, man, I just hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, and I hope, I hope, I hope, and I pray that the things that we're doing will eventually be a long-lasting effect on the rest of the world. And thank you for everybody who reached out to me this last week and sent me messages of hope and, and love and, and prayers. And, and it's just truly humbling because when you do something like this and we work really hard to be low-key and then when you see people stand up and defend your name and your honor and, and reach out to you and tell you how you, what you've done personally or what Love Wins has done for them has... Uh, uh, affected their lives it's just a truly humbling experience uh and once again guys thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so so much um if i said something today that uh that kind of lit a fire in you thank your higher power because i'm just a vessel i'm just a guy from east l.a who's doing what i hope someone would do for my family if i was one of the 58 and if i said something that upset you man i truly apologize from the bottom of my heart because i'm just a, i just want to spread hope love and healing to everybody because we all deserve it and i've learned through a lot of trial and error that sometimes I can be my my best supporter and also my worst keeper because you know self-doubt self-esteem all that that you know it all piles on you and sometimes the world thinks you're the stronger person the strongest person and and all you're doing is trying to hold on to get to the next second to keep the demons at bay and then sometimes you play with your demons and you put them to rest and some days you break through the demons and you, you get a whole new set of demons because you know what you only move forward to get higher and higher, higher, higher as far as your spiritual journey. And I'm truly grateful to be on this journey with you guys. Share this video. Invite your friends. Uh, it would be awesome if we can get to a 1,000 so we can start doing live feeds again. Um, and we're going to be doing contests on here. We're going to be doing special annou announcements only through YouTube. Um, we are closing down the hashtag Love Wins uh, group to streamline our online presence to go to just the Love Wins uh, page uh go ahead and give us a follow we're close to 2,000 followers which is blows my mind um instagram we're love wins uh 9117 we're all, we're literally four people away from a thousand blows my mind um it's just a truly humbling honor 
to be a part of this journey with each and every one of you. And and if you know somebody who's suffering, who may need help, uh, reach out to us. We have resources, uh, counseling, uh, phone numbers, people to call, stuff like that. It doesn't matter if they're root survivors or not. Uh, we've also helped people with the borderline. We've uh, reached out to people in Texas, Ohio. I mean, just wherever we can come and be there for somebody like the people were there for us. Um, oh, our next, another event, uh, November 9th. We're, we're part of and proud to be uh, having a booth at the, uh, I can't remember the name. I think it's West Coast Country Throwdown. Uh, it's an event that Steve is throwing for the Honor 58 Tommy Mayer's group. Uh, my goal is to present Tommy a 9150 $9,115.80 check to represent uh, 911 uh, 9158. Um, it just, it's not, I know it sounds crazy. I mean, we're at a couple hundred dollars right now. Anything that we make from now to that day via donation on our website, www.lovewinsofficial.org, through merchant sales, and a hundred percent of whatever we make that day at the event, I will write a check before the event's over and hand it to Tommy on the spot. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be a part of this journey with you guys. I can't wait to see what year three brings. Hold on. We're going for the gusto. We're trying to make the most out of it. Uh, I'm just blessed and humble, man. You woke up today. Today is a great day to spread love, hope, and healing. Do a random act of kindness for somebody. It doesn't have to cost you a thing, but it will pay off in dividends that you don't even believe to understand. It is priceless, priceless, priceless. Starts with yourself goes to your immediate people in your circle and then it just reverts or uh no that's not the word i'm looking for it just it just vibrates you know seven degrees of separation people have a great day and if no one's told you they appreciate you i appreciate you if no one's told you that it's okay to be right where you're at i'm telling you it's damn okay to be right where you're at but just don't make it a permanent home if you're on a breakdown make it a breakthrough set it up because once you get to that next phase of your journey there's someone who's walking in right where you left and you're their hope you're their they're, 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 you're their hope. You're the light at the end of the tunnel because they'll be like, you know what? I saw Dennis just get through something similar like this and look at him now. Don't forget, no matter how deep and dark the hole is, I guarantee you there's somebody who's coming in behind you who, who has it worse and you're their best shot at recovery by seeing you succeed and not give up. And if no one's told you they love you, man, I love you. Even if you don't like me, I still love you and I still pray for you because your journey is just as important as mine. I'm no better than anybody and I'm no less than anybody. I'm just a guy from East L.A. who got a vision on his heart on the worst day of his life. And I believe we can change the world through random acts of kindness with people like you. All right, guys. Have a great day. God bless.